this war on terrorism is making it dangerous for us to leave the country. But where I'm from, it's dangerous for some to leave their own doorsteps. This violence is seeping through the seams of our screen doors and hijacking the comfort of our own homes. In Durham, where the city is economically split into two and each half has no idea what the other side is like, so stereotypes play the role of mutual friends and help them to get to know each other. But while stereotypes only inflict a little pain, the truth is what really hurts. Gang violence has risen more than 50% in the last 20 years. This conflict reminds me of poetry. The way the violence turns faces to violence when family members bleed roses in the city of booms. It's no wonder why my friends get caught up in beef. Not everyone can shoot hoops or rip beats. There's limited food and everyone needs to eat. And the only change we ever see are in the seasons. Free folk. As grades fall and hearts turn cold, guns get took out. Triggers spring back and make barrels hot in the summer cookouts. But don't get this mixed with no picnic. This is no walk in the park. You see this, it's more like passing through an army base. Where soldiers train year-round for a war against themselves, but there are no medals of honor. These teens would rather squeeze metal for honor and die clutching their flag while bleeding their true colors. But I feel sorry for the mothers. Let's go, son. Who have babies, who have babies, and it's crazy. We're becoming afraid of our own children in a world that's growing up too fast. But there must be an answer or a cure somewhere in the city of medicine where it's easier to buy guns and drugs instead of health care so the streets become their hospitals. Let's go, son. Free poet. These OGs play doctor while these kids have nothing but patience, live ill lives, and get sick criminal records. These symptoms are much more severe than the common cold, but just as easy to spread. It's contagious, like that team spirit found in the city of Blue Devils. Where UNC ain't the biggest rivalry, it's like Duke and State shoot it out every night, but there ain't no school boards, just death counts. Red and blue bandana printed uniforms, last second shots, and sharp shooters on both teams. And although I'm not affiliated with either side, I feel like a fan, just watching the action happen. But this game is taking too long. It's too bad there are no ties in basketball, because over time, Nobody wins. So what are these suicides for? When there's a kid in this city that won't be able to follow and trace McGrady's footsteps because it's too dangerous to practice outside. But it's sad to see young adults skip school and kick rocks to earn Play-Doh. This is childish. I wish I could turn our OGs into CEOs, hustlers into mathematicians, and gangbangers into painters. So they can put these colors to better use. And the so-called pigs, I turn them into police officers respected by everybody but the states. I make them doctors so they could change their poisons into medicines that would heal the crack addicts who would become saints after living in a life of hell where grouches count stacks from selling big birds. But this is far from Sesame Street, more like Fayetteville Street, Hoover Street, South Street. I can still hear the orchestra that Durham is conducting, and it just doesn't sound right. So please, I'm begging you, stop the violence.